As you can see, there are two layers here. One as a background and the other one as an image of a cup of coffee. By hue saturation adjustment and curve adjustment, I almost combine the color and the light of two layers. I select these three layers that are related to the image of cup of coffee and convert it to a smart object and then rename it. If you double click on it, the smart object will open for you and you can change its settings. So I start from the first frame. I place the cup here in the corner of image to enter the scene. Now, hold Alt and drag the cup to adjust its position in the second frame. Note that, try to change the position of cup equally value in each frame. Now, I have determined the position of cup in all frames. So, to complete the frames, I need to make several copies of background layer and place the background layer under each of cup layers. For do that, you can hold Alt and drag the background layer under the each of cup layers. Now, I have to select the each layer of cup and the background layer below it and convert them into a smart object. Go to the window menu and select the timeline. Now, select the create frame animation and I click on this button. Now, you have to click on this icon and select the make frames from the layer option. Now, you can see that the frames are stacked next to each other. You can play the timeline by pressing the space bar. As you can see, our stop motion is a little fast. Select the all frames, then click on this section. Now you can choose any time that you want. Or if you want, you can adjust it manually. Suppose in this frame, we want to change the position of the cup. Just double click on this layer to enter the smart object. You can now change the position of the cup. And do not forget to save it after making change. You can see the result. But this is not good at all. So let me undo the change. Click on this icon and select the convert to video timeline. You can see that timeline has changed. Now, I create a color lookup adjustment on the top of the all layers. As you can see, the color lookup adjustment is also created on the top of the timeline. Now, by lots in this adjustment, I can do a color grading. Now for more color grading, I create a hue saturation adjustment and adjust it. So you can see that the hue saturation adjustment on the top of the timeline. Finally, click on this icon at the top of the timeline to render the project. Here, you can set the name of the file, and in this section, you can also set the location where the file is saved. In this section, you can set the file format and size. There are also settings for frame rate. In the range section, you can select which part of the file you want to render. For example, you can set the start and end frames. At the end, just click on the render button. 